Hi, this is Christoph Schwartz again with a video about alternate states. Alternate states are in ClickView and in ClickSense a great way actually to make comparative analysis but when you start using them you will kind of miss one thing and I call this the almost alternate state. See how this goes. Let me show you what I mean. Let's take any application and quickly create some visualizations, for example, sales by product. And let's add the sales as a KPI object. Let's duplicate all those objects because I want to do a comparative analysis. Finally, I would like to have identical charts, but with different selections. And now let's introduce two alternate states. So two different selection rooms, if you will. I call them S1 and S2. If I don't, what's happening now is when I make selection, of course, both uh, synchronize, both uh, charts will show the same selection. So to assign those to different selection states, I just drag and drop the uh, states uh, to all of them. The lower ones are assigned to state 2, whereas the upper ones to S1. And now you've got the effect that you wanted. So two different selection states which are no longer in sync. But hey, wait a minute. First you enjoy and say, okay, I isolated the two, but then you start uh, realizing that some of your selections should still be global. Let's pull in a filter pane here and add the year, the order year. So what do you think if I select the year? Nothing will happen because the year is in the global state and the others are other graphics are in an isolated, in a separate state. Yes, there is um, a way to fix that. So you would go to the definition of sales and start adding a certain set modifier. So to be precise, you want the year, the order year, to take its selection from the possible values of the order year in the main state. So p is a function to get the possible values and here I'm adding the main state which is represented by a dollar sign. So when I save this, I now have achieved that um, the year field is global, so it affects also the, the visualizations on the right, while all the other fields would be in the, within the state. Well, now um, you realize, well, I want to have the month as well, and you add the month. But, yeah, hey, wait a minute. If I do so, the month has no effect on the alternate state because we tied the alternate state to look up the year. Okay, well, um, you go back, re-edit the master item for sales and add another p function, which now looks into month. You get the point this doesn't really scale because you know there are way more subdimensions for the order date there could be year month there could be quarter week and if you want to add all of those your set statement will be pretty complex so luckily there is a script snippet that you can grab from my github under the shown url set the sync fields variable to whatever you want to have synchronized and I set it to order date asterisk. That means all fields starting with order date. I now want to synchronize the entire family of order date fields dynamically. What do I mean by that? Um, my variables will help you to create the following. Let's get the date selections back in place here. And let's add another field, which has nothing to do with this, just to show the effect. Um, if I select 
in an ordered date field, it dynamically creates the set statement that you just created by hand. And it does it in two different ways, in sync set all, which has the complete syntax, and add sync set, which doesn't have the outer curly brackets. So if you don't use any other set analysis, you can now use the variable v sync set all and the syntax is to put it in dollar and brackets so that's what it's calculating at the bottom you can see that and in case you have a variable where you already used a set modifier you have uh, the possibility to add just one more you have to put it as the last one in your list so you call this add sync set Again, the syntax is dollar brackets. And this will, you know, just add another parameter. So finally, we've got what we want. We have all fields starting with order date to dynamically create a set. And now you've got what I mean, the almost alternate states. There's one more thing, I'm organizing a large event in Vienna on June the 14th where I'm trying to raise enough money to donate 100 goats for vulnerable children and orphans in East Africa. If you want to say thank you for all the videos I keep doing and publishing, here's a way to do so. There's a link below to justgiving.com where I have a digital page to support my campaign. Please make a small donation. Every dollar makes a difference in East Africa. I can tell you I've seen it and it truly does. Thanks for your ongoing support and see you on the next video.